Hello, Breaking Free family. Good afternoon. God bless you. Coach Liz is here with another video today. It is such a wonderful day today, and I hope you all are prospering as usual. I hope you all are enjoying the weather, enjoying your life, living your best life. I am so excited again to bring you some more content today. I thank you so much for your time. I thank you so much for always just taking the time out to just stop by and listen to these videos. I pray and hope that they resonate with you. I pray that they will change your life and bring you closer to the feet of Jesus. If you have not subscribed to the Breaking Free family, I want you to do so today. Please hit that like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Please hit that bell notification. That way you'll be able to receive up to receive all of my uploaded content. Please share these videos on all your social media platforms. Why? Because this helps the video circulate through the YouTube algorithm. There are so many people out there that are hurting that needs to understand what is happening to them. And you and I can help them with that by sharing the content. With that being said, I am a certified professional life coach. If you would like coaching, you can email me at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com or you can go to my website at www.breakingfreenpd.com. You can also register for our upcoming meet and greet here in May of this year and also our, our banquet for domestic violence and narcissistic abuse in August of this year. Uh, God is just so good, everyone. The topic I want to share with you all today, I'm sitting outside today, so I want to kind of uh, enjoy the weather. It's so beautiful. I want to share a topic today about how the, nar the narcissist burns bridges. They burn the bridges with people that come into their lives. You have to remember that the narcissist doesn't care about love, doesn't really care about compassion, doesn't really care about giving back. They don't care about wholesome love, restoration, peace, family, joy, hope. They don't really care about the love of Jesus. These people believe and think that they are a God. They think that they are a God to everyone that they come in contact with. They think that everyone enjoys being in their company. They think that everyone sees them in the way that they see themselves. They believe that no matter what they do to people or no matter what happens, people will always want to crawl back to them. They will always want to beg for their love, beg for their company, beg for their attention. But the opposite about that is, is the narcissist is actually the one that needs all of those things from you. They get their supply, their energy from you. They get their um, attention from you. And they like those things. And without those things, the narcissist is a nobody. He or she is a nobody. They like to prey on other people's hearts. They like to prey on other people's giving and time and empathy and sympathy. They like to pray and misuse and abuse those things that are gifts from God to each other. The narcissists don't appreciate who you are in their lives. They don't appreciate uh, your love, your protection. They don't appreciate uh, the meals that you prepare for them, the intimacy that you give to them. They don't appreciate um, and value you for a person because they use you for whatever they want. And what, I'm being, what I mean by that is that they burn every bridge. They ruin every relationship. A lot of times you know how people can end a relationship um, at a job where you leave um, uh, with good intentions, you leave uh, with still uh, your character intact at that job. And that way, if you ever want to come back, you know, they would love to have you back because they remember uh, who you are and they remember, um, you know, what you brought to the table. But the narcissists, they burn those bridges. They can never come back. There is something uh, that they always do. They always come with a demolition. They always destroy the bridges where they can never go back. They can never uh, uh, come back to you. Now, I know in a lot of videos, they say the narcissists always come back. They always come back. You know, some of them might come back and decide that they want to hoover you. They will test the waters to see, are you still weak? Are you still healing? Are you still lonely? Are you still desperate for them? And that you might let them come back. But a lot of times, some narcissists, they don't come back because they know they have burnt that bridge. They can never come back because of all the horrible things that they have done to you. Maybe some of these people tried to kill you. Maybe some of these people tried to hunt you down. Some of these people may have raped you 
uh, uh, tried to uh, molest you, molest your children. Uh, some of these people might have tried to set you up to be harmed or hurt. Some of these people have embarrassed you, have ran your name through the mud, have slandered you so badly that there is no coming back. Every narcissist don't come back because most of the time they probably will, but when they burn those bridges, they can't come back. They know they can't come back because they know you're not going to accept them. They know that you know who they are. They know that uh, you know that maybe they're, that they're not actually a narcissist, but they know that you know it's something about them that is not right. You know that they have been feeding you trash, been feeding you garbage, have been feeding you lies. They know that you know something about them is not right. So they burn those bridges. Narcissists never leave a relationship intact. They never can leave a relationship or a friendship and have the opportunity to come back because they know and understand that um, that there's possibly something that um, that they are doing or have done that will cause their relationship to actually to be destroyed. Some of these people have done such dirty, um, crazy, uh, manipulative, cunning, dark things to you that you know you will never let them come back because you are uh, dangling with the spirit that is not of God. You are dealing with someone that does not have the heart of Jesus. You are dealing with someone that does not have good intentions for you. And so you have to leave these people alone. You have to leave them behind. You have to let them go. Whether the narcissist discarded you or you discarded them, it was for a good reason uh, that you did this because uh, a lot of times we don't seem to understand that uh, we uh, have to do these things to protect ourselves and when we don't um, discard these people and let them go God will remove these people from your life if um, God knows and sees that these people don't mean you any good he will remove them from your life and you have to accept that so that bridge is burned that bridge cannot be rebuilt they will not be able to come back across it I know some of you have heard about uh, you tell people be careful uh, when you decide uh, to hurt me or to destroy our relationship, you make sure that you don't have to come back. You make sure that you burn that bridge, you tear it down. You make sure that you don't have to come back to me because um, a lot of times people don't realize that they have wrong relationships with good people. They have good intentions. God put us in the narcissist's lives to show them what genuine love is, to show them what empathy is, to show them what kindness and commitment and faithfulness is. But they don't see that because they are not faithful. They are not kind. They are not genuine. And so they're going to burn that bridge with the empath. They're going to burn that bridge with good people, especially if it's your child. Uh, it could be your uh, intimate partner, your husband, your wife, a co-worker. These people will burn that bridge and they cannot come back. You know they're not coming back because they know that you are no longer going to accept the behavior. You're no longer going to accept the abuse. And a lot of times they don't come back, especially if you have exposed the narcissist to everyone else and people have actually found out who him and her really is and they were exposed. A lot of times they won't come back because they're too ashamed to come back. They too... Um, um, again, they're just too ashamed to come back because they know that everyone knows or possibly know uh, who they really are and what they have actually really done to you. A lot of times they don't come back because of that. Sometimes it's so much shame that they will actually leave and move to another city or state just to get away from you and everyone else. Now, let me tell you something. One thing I can say for sure that the narcissist, even if they never come back, they will be exposed. God will expose their evilness. Their world will come down at some point. I can't tell you when that's going to happen, how it's going to happen, how long it's going to take. But I can tell you that their world will one day come down. It will one, be, one day be destroyed. God will expose these people for who they really are, even to the new supply. And even the new supply is going to be destroyed, especially if he or she got involved uh, in whatever relationship that you had with the narcissist and knew that it was something intact, especially spiritual, like a marriage or a covenant or something like that, God will deal with them. God is going to destroy them too. The new supply will not get away with what they have done to you as God's child. I know it hurts right now. I know it's not right. I know it's deceptive. I know it's deceiving. I know it is very 
brutal, it's unkind, but we just have to deal with that. The Bible says those that endure to the end shall be saved. So that means we're going to endure things in this life. We're going to go through trials in this life because Jesus was once, he was spat on, he was he was beaten, he was slandered, he was set up, he was lied on, he was mistreated and betrayed. And so if you call yourself a child of God and you are a child of God, these things will also happen to you as well. I know reading in the Bible and hearing it is so easy, but when it actually happens to you, it's very detrimental. So I just want to let you all know today that that narcissist burned those bridges that they cannot come back across. But if you are still in need of the narcissist, if you are still emotionally attached to them, if you have not let go and accepted the fact that this person does not belong in your life and you feel that you cannot move on and there's nobody else out there for you, you're going to be open for that Hoover. You're going to be open for that narcissist to come back in your life and to manipulate you again. Not just to come back to manipulate you, but to tear you down, to destroy you, to break you, because they don't want you to rise again. The narcissist is just like a missile. They want to take you out on the first shot. They want to make sure that you are destroyed and that you are remembered no more. But you have to say the devil is a lie. You have to get up and you have to fight for your life. You have to fight for what the narcissist and the enemy is trying to destroy and take away from you. You have to be wise and understand that not only narcissists in your life, but just family and friends and co-workers and neighbors in general. When people mistreat you and do you wrong, when they ghost you, when they can go without talking to you or calling you for a long time, that should let you know. That's a red flag to let you know that you're not important to these people. And you don't let people treat you like that. And then when they decide to call you or come back in your life and pop up, you're there to accept them as though nothing has ever happened. The reason why we're getting hurt so many times, because we're allowing ourselves to be walked on and trampled upon and mistreated like we're nothing. You have got to stand up for yourself. There's nothing wrong with you saying no. There's nothing wrong with you saying, I will not allow this type of abuse in my life anymore. We call those boundaries. You need to have boundaries in your life, and that's to protect you. The Bible tells us to protect our hearts because God gave them to us. We can't just lend our hearts out to anyone that comes along and make us think and feel that they love us or we're in love or they actually care for you. You have to understand that life is very tricky and you have to be careful with all those deceptive demons that are out there roaming around seeking who he or she may devour. I want you to know today that I love you. I thank you so much for tuning in to Breaking Free. And remember, if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, please email Coach Lizzie at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com or go to my website at www.breakingfreenpd.com. I'm sorry for the noise. I'm actually sitting outside today and my neighbor's children are running around, so they're kind of making up a little noise, so I apologize for that. But again, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please share these videos. Please leave a comment down below to encourage someone else that is hurting. Again, the narcissists burn every bridge that they have in their life. Some of these bridges, they believe that they can restore. Why? Again, because we accept the Hoover. We allow them to come back. Don't allow the narcissists to trample all over you anymore. Thank you all so much again for tuning in to Breaking Free. Coach Lizzie, I love you. Thank you so very much. If you'd like to donate to Coach Lizzie, Again, if you'd like to uh, register for the upcoming meet in Greece and the banquets, everything will be in the description box down below. Please, guys, remember that God loves you. And he did not make you for other people to come here and to destroy you and to make you feel that you can never love again. He did not allow you to live to be this for your life, for one human being to come and make you feel that love is not real, that marriage is not genuine. It's not really a commitment between two people a man and a woman. Yes, it is. I want you all to know that God loves you and he wants you to have life and have it more abundantly. Remember, no matter what happens, you are God's child and he loves you. And as Coach Lizzie always say, we are the originals. Have a great day.